Today, we're going to unbox the Lavoce San 214.50 21-inch subwoofer. Hey everybody, welcome back to Home Theater Fanatics. Today, we're going to take a look at the Lavoce San 214.50 subwoofer. This is a big 21-inch pro driver that's become very popular in DIY circles. Uh, whether you're using a kit from GSG Audio or building your own kit from scratch, uh, this has become a go-to driver uh, because of performance and the price point. At $480, it's a lot less expensive than the BNCs and the eminences of the world, and performance is almost on par with those. So uh, it really checks the boxes for people that are looking for kind of a cost-effective big subwoofer that they can use in a DIY project that kind of will take their home theater to that next level. Now, I've used this driver myself in a Marty Cube build, so I uh, did the Roundover Marty Cube 21 inch pack from GSG Audio and use this driver. And I can attest to the fact that this thing puts out a ton of sound. Uh, it, it, it's loud. <laughs> you know, you can take a, uh, like an iNuke 6000 and uh, drop on this guy or take a 3000 and bridge it or similar kind of amplification. And it's gonna put out a lot of sound for you. Um, it's not the lowest sounding driver out there in the world, meaning just, just the way when you listen to it, it, it doesn't have like that long throw ultra low bass sound to it. Although it, it will dig down, you know, below 20 Hertz. Uh, and, and, and bring the thunder. I have mine crossed over with a high pass filter at 16 and it performs well all the way down into that range inside of my room. Uh, so I, I think that for most folks, this is going to really fulfill whatever needs they might have from, from a low bass point of view. Now, just a few specs. Uh, it's got a four and a half inch voice coil. Uh, sensitivity is 98 and a half decibels. Uh, Power program handling is 3,400 watts, which I believe uh, equates out to about 1,700 RMS, which is uh, a good chunk of power. And the 6,000 um, probably isn't putting out quite that much, but maybe um, it's supposed to be, but <laughs> I don't really think it is. Um, uh, the you know some of the things though that aren't quite as uh, as robust as I would like to see is that it's not long through, so it's got it's got like 1.9 inches of peak to peak maximum travel. So the subwoofer isn't gonna have that huge travel uh, that you might see out of uh, other long throw, low tuned subwoofers. But that being said, uh, the measurement for the amount of air displaced is the, the stroke versus the, the surface area of the sub. And uh, with the huge 21 inch size, it's still moving a ton, a ton of air for you. Anyway, um, if you wanna check out the video uh, where I install this in the Marty Cube, check out the link above and uh, enjoy the subwoofer porn. This is a, a cool subwoofer and I think you'll enjoy this in your next DIY build. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.